Hey guys, yes, AI race is on. Today we are diving into an one of the hot topic in the world of AI. Google launched its new AI powerhouse, which is Google's Gemini. What exactly is Google's Gemini? Is it really better than ChatGPT? And the agenda for this video is what exactly is Google's Gemini? We'll understand how it works and what exactly it is. What are the different versions of Google's Gemini and its capabilities? Sundar Pichai and CEO of Google's DeepMind Demis Hasbis claim that Gemini is one of their biggest launch after Google's search engine and it is way better than its rival ChatGPT. Is it really true? We are gonna find that out. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. This side, Asif Imnad. Gemini is a multimodal beast, meaning it can process and understand not just the text but also images and sound. It was built from ground up to be multimodal, which means it can generalize and seamlessly understand, operate across and combine different types of information including text, code, audio, images and video. Unlike ChatGPT, ChatGPT is really better with the text but it cannot process images and videos. Think of Google's Gemini as a super-powered Google Assistant on steroids. Let's hear from Sundar Pichai and Demis Hazabis what they have to say about Gemini. You know, one of the reasons we got interested in AI from the very beginning is that we always viewed our mission as a timeless mission. It's to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. But as information has grown in scale and complexity, you know, the problem has gotten harder. So we always knew we needed to have a deeper breakthrough to make progress. I've worked on AI my whole life because I've always felt it would be the most beneficial and consequential technology for humanity. The Gemini approach to multimodality is all the kinds of things you want uh, an artificial intelligence system to be able to do. And these are th capabilities that haven't really existed in computers before. Traditionally, multimodal models are created by stitching together text-only, vision-only, and audio-only models in a suboptimal way at a secondary stage. Gemini is the multimodal from the ground up, so it can seamlessly have a conversation across modalities and give you the best possible response. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do uh, and absorb any type of input and output. So not just text like most models, but also code, audio, image and video. One of the media from technology, TechCrunch, says it's not the generative model we expect, particularly after the reorganization of all Google's AI divisions meaning they are really doubting on Google's Gemini. Is it really a generative model? The information's take is that the product is actually not yet ready and comparable to what OpenAI launched a year ago. And equally worrying, if this product is really amazing, why did the company share fall so much when Google actually launched its one of the best product, which is Gemini? Because investors know when something is not a big deal. This is what TechCrunch is saying, meaning they are saying Google's Gemini is not a big deal. The chat GPT is way better than Google's Gemini. This is very early to say that I am not fully agree with what they are saying because I am also impressed by what they have actually shown, Gemini's capabilities and also the hands-on demo which they have shown during the launch of this Gemini. Let's have a look at this. Alright, testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes! A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? 
or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. Isn't it really amazing? But I really doubt here. Don't you think that this is a marketing gimmick where they have trained their model in such a way that it can generate a better results? I think yes for sure. But at the other end, we should also understand that what it can do. Maybe not today, tomorrow, but day after tomorrow. Maybe after a year because AI is growing exponentially. Maybe we should all control our expectations. It should come as no surprise that we are expecting something spectacular, unique and revolutionary. After Google took a full year to introduce a product in the market, it was expected to dominate, but it is actually lost to well-funded startup, which is definitely OpenAI's ChatGPT. And we already know OpenAI's ChatGPT is already backed by Microsoft. On their website, Google's DeepMind website, all they're saying is, Gemini surpasses performance on range of benchmarks which ChatGPT 4 has set. As you can also see on the screen, they are saying Gemini is better than ChatGPT in terms of all the different capabilities like text, general, reasoning, math and code. If you see, Gemini's ultra model is better than ChatGPT 4. You can visit the website and see the numbers yourself. Okay, before we proceed and discuss in detail, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss our latest videos on AI. We see you are watching our videos but 90% are not yet subscribed. We put lot of efforts creating these videos for you free. Keep us motivated by liking and subscribing. So YouTube algorithm will also help us reach more audience. So did you subscribe and like? Thank you. But interesting thing to note here, we are comparing only the text form with the chat GPT. What about Google's main claim, which is multimodal? When I say multimodal, it is not only about text. It is also about images, audio, video and code. How it is better than ChatGPT 4. For sure, when it comes to multimodal, I think ChatGPT has to still work a lot in terms of images, audio and video. The comparison between Gemini and ChatGPT in terms of images, video and audio, also you can see the Gemini is better than the ChatGPT. This is what Google is claiming. Alright, what are the different versions of Gemini then? Gemini comes in three sizes, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro and Gemini Nano. What they're saying is Ultra is the most capable and largest model for high complex tasks which can be used for data centers for complex data. Whereas Pro is best model for scaling across wide range of tasks which is available for everyone for day to day life activity. And in fact, Gemini Pro is already embedded into Google's Bard, which is Google's answer to chat GPT, right? Google Bard, we already know. And finally, the Nano version, a small on device offline AI for phones like Pixel 8 and above. This is the most efficient model for on device tasks. This is what Google is saying. But we still don't know. We haven't tested it on the phone. Let's see in future if you get a chance. So let's come to the actual point. Let's quickly compare Google's Gemini and OpenAI's ChatGPT, which is backed by Microsoft. We are going to compare Google's Gemini and OpenAI's ChatGPT in these four different terms. First one is text generation. How and which one is better in terms of text generation. Second is information retrieval. Third is reasoning and problem solving capabilities. Fourth is multimodality. This is Gemini's secret weapon. So let's find that out. So talking about first point, which is text generation, I have tested both the models and I really found both AI models are impressive here. Gemini's writing style is generally more factual, more formal and informative. While ChatGPT is really good at creativity, it is really good at humor and I really liked its more human-like responses. So it really depends on you what you are looking for. So if you are looking for more factual and formal information, then Google Gemini. But if you are looking for human-like responses, humor, creativity, then the ChatGPT. So I give more rating to ChatGPT here. Talking about the second point, which is information retrieval. When I compared and tested these models in terms of information gathering, this is where Gemini actually shines because Google is really best at searching and finding the information because Google has advantage over ChatGPT, right? Google's search engine. Its ability to process and understand different type of data gives its clear edge in finding and summarizing information. ChatGPT can still access and process the information but it lacks by a point when compared to Gemini. So I give more rating to Gemini when it comes to information retrieval. Talking about the third point, which is reasoning and problem solving. 
reasoning and problem solving this is where ai is still struggling because it has to take care of lot of different aspects and this is really tough one both models are still under development in this area i really feel it is just a beginning i believe chat gpt ranks better here as chat gpt is flexible and can think outside the box but gemini is factual gemini gives more formal responses so i think when it comes to reasoning and when it comes to thinking outside the box chat gpt ranks better but gemini also shows early promises with its ability to understand the context and draw logical conclusions but for me i will rank chat gpt more here talking about the last and the most important point which is multimodality gemini's ability to understand and respond to images sounds video audio opens up a new world of possibilities and it is really amazing so gemini is really good at generating captions for videos composing music understanding the gestures understanding the visuals which is not yet possible for chat gpt or they are at the early stages so chat gpt simply can't compete here and this is where gemini ranks way better than chat gpt when it comes to multimodality because when i say multimodality it is not only about text it can also understand audio video and also for the developers it will help to code isn't it amazing so who wins both gemini and chat gpt have their own strengths and weaknesses it depends on what you need from ai assistants if you ask me i would say to conclude if you need a research assistant or a factual information machine Gemini is the best choice but if you are looking for creative writing partner for content creation creativity thinking outside the box or for witty conversations then ChatGPT might be the better fit ultimately the best AI for you is the one that meets your specific needs and the preferences and that's how we come to an end of this video if you have any questions regarding the same let us know in the comments below if you found this video really helpful please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and the colleagues thanks for watching see you again next time till then take care and bye bye